Good morning. It's me, Mikey fucking Pipes, with Gigi the Mini Golden Doodle, and Stoli. They had their vet checkups yesterday. They got a good, clean bill of health. They're good, healthy doggies. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. 6.25 in the morning here. In cold, 45 degree New York. Thank you so much for tuning in. And before we get started with today's video on the Uncensored channel, I want to give a special shout out. A genuine and really emotional shout out to the 50,048 subscribers to the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel. But let's not give the uncensored people the credit they deserve. All 4,528 of you dedicated. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yesterday, wow. Yesterday, the 29th of November, 2022, we hit an epic milestone of 50,000 subscribers. And I did it on a live stream when we took out that Whale McLean Ultra 3 with that giant hole in the bottom. Like, yo, what the fuck is up with that Whale McLean? Every single Ultra 3 that I come across that's of similar age has a similar hole in the exact same fucking location. Why is it that all these Whale McLean Ultra models have the same leak, the same hole on the bottom of the heat exchanger? Well, we know what causes it. It's that very, very acidic condensate that the, that the system cre uh, creates and produces because it's condensing, right? But my God, are you serious? Every single one. And I guess we could say that they're not being maintained properly. Um, and that's true in a lot of cases. Well, almost all of them actually. Um, they're not being scrubbed and cleaned the way the manual stipulates, you know, but I see this house right behind me. They got two Ultra 3s, all right? And I know they haven't been serviced. And like, you know, I could bring a camel to water, but I can't make him drink. Hold on. You see this house right here? They got three of them. One is just for the indoor pool in the basement. What do you tell them? What do you tell them? I guess some people just don't care. But I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited that next week we're doing one of the old school. We're going old school next week. Well, not really. Nah, not really. Next week, we're converting a house in Valley Stream from number two home heating oil to the nice old clean natural gas. And we're not using a Bosch. Nope. Because Mikey Pipes is an equal opportunity installer. And more importantly, Daniel don't like him anymore. Yep. You know, and the youth, they're the future of the trades. Don't get it twisted. The youth are the future of the trades. So if we don't mold and condition them to, you know, for professionalism and needing to learn something new every day, well, guess what? Future generations are gonna be fucked. That's right. They're gonna be screwed. And that's why together, unified, we need to make the trades great again. We really do. If we don't, we're in trouble. Let me tell you something, we're gonna be in trouble. And it all starts when their kids are young, they're in school, you got the school administration, you have the guidance counselors. What are they pushing? They're pushing college. And college is not for everyone, it's not. Why? Why come out of college with over $100,000 of student debt unless you're gifted enough to be a trust fund baby? Why? Why? Why go to school for four years being forced to go there when you know it's not for you? In four years of digging ditches or pulling wire or cutting wood as an apprentice, a journeyman, you know that after those four years, you could be making six figures or more. No joke. 
six figures or more. And that ain't no fucking joke, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a young adult, a teenager, listen to these words. If you're mechanically inclined, maybe school isn't for you. Maybe you're not being challenged enough in school. Maybe you like working with your hands. Maybe you like fixing things. Well, guess what? There's no reason why you can't fix things and live in a multi-million dollar house like that. There's no reason why you can't earn a great living and whatever you could possibly imagine in life is obtainable. Look at this. Back to back multi-million dollar houses in my fucking neighborhood. That's where I live. And I'm gonna keep it real. I earn a lot more fucking money than my parents did. A lot more. But remember, always give back. Sharing is caring. Give back to others. In the Jewish world, we call it chesed. Give to others who, who don't have, who, who really need to do that. And that's one of the reasons why I'm very active daily on my Mikey Pipes YouTube channel. Not only do I want to make the trades great again, but I want to show the skills that others have taught me and share them with others so together we can make the trades great again. So you may be asking, Mikey Pipes, how the fuck are we going to make the trades great again together? Pay very close attention, ladies and gentlemen. There's a reason why I roll out the red carpet. Well, maybe it's because I want to wipe my expensive shoes on my carpet instead of theirs. I'm just joking. It shows respect. It shows respect. That's the number one rule. Respect the client, the homeowner, and respect their time. When you pull up in front of their house, you should be knocking on that door at the proper position within 60 seconds or less. When they open that door, you need to greet them by Mr. or Mrs. Fuck this him, they, it, where, whatever your fucking pronoun is. If you're born with a penis, you're a man. That's my fucking feelings. You address them by name. Mr. Mr. Brown, Mr. Clinton, Mr. Trump, whatever you want to call them, whatever their name is. You ask for permission to enter their home. You roll the red carpet as you're entering the house, wiping your feet on, their, on your carpet, not theirs. That's how we make the trades great again. And there are several more steps, many more steps in the process of making the trades great again. And that's just a couple examples. So stay with me. Make sure you check out the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel. 50,000 strong, strong. And I owe it all to all of you. Continue watching the Uncensored channel for my almost weekly vlog, because I tell it like it is, uncut, unedited, raw, but most importantly, unfucking censored. Make no mistake about it, together, we're gonna make the trades great again. That's the lesson for the day. Ain't that right, Gigi? <laughs>